Mike Mulder here with Walt Smith, head coach of the Giles County Bobcats. Coach, I appreciate you taking time to join us today. Uh, no problem. Thanks for having me. Uh, coach Smith, another great season there for the Bobcats. You're currently at 72 with Marshall County coming to town. One of those two losses was to Division II powerhouse Innsworth. Uh, how do you feel, you know, at this point in the season your team's doing? Uh, well, I, I feel like we're, uh, you know, we, we started out behind with uh, me coming in late and the assistants coming in late and us having some adversity to overcome uh, with the sanctions we had. But I feel like, uh, we're, you know, we, we finally have started clicking on all cylinders. Uh, offense has started. We've, we've, you know, got the playbook installed. Defense, we've got all of our checks and, and things that we want to do in, in, installed there. And uh, you can tell the guys have started playing a little faster the last three or four weeks uh, as we got into the end of the season. How would you rate that job your new staff has done so far, Coach? Uh, unbelievable. I, I wouldn't trade them for any staff in, the, in America. Uh, I, you know, it's kind of weird how it all just kind of fell into place with the guys that uh, we ended up with. And, uh, it, uh, you know, again, the, the coaches with the teaching slots we had and, and the coaches we had to fill, I just, uh, it, it, it's unbelievable how it all came together, and, and uh, they've done a great job. Are there any areas that you feel this Bobcat team probably needs to improve on if you guys are going to make a deep playoff run? Uh, a consistency, I would say. Uh, we, uh, you know, we're, we're very young up front. We're starting. Uh, we've played three or four sophomores on the offensive line uh, quite a bit all year uh, due to some uh, preseason injuries and uh, just consistency on both sides of the ball. I feel like we we show signs of being really good at times, and then. Uh, uh, several times this year we've had halftime, halftime leads up 25, 30 points, and we've let the team crawl back in the game and uh, been, you know, been a dog fight down the stretch. So uh, I definitely think consistency is something we've got to we've got to show down uh, you know, the last week of the season and into the playoffs. Uh, we're speaking with uh, Giles County head coach Walt Smith. Uh, coach, you've got Marshall County coming in, and it's really been a team of streaks this year. They started out, they lost their first two games. And they win three in a row, and then they promptly lose the next three. Is this a scary team to run into at this point in the season? Uh, it is, just because they've got uh, some really good athletes on both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, they've, they've had some uh, – their schedule's been tough, um, a lot like ours. And uh, it, it, they, they, at times they show that they can play with anybody, you know, beating Columbia. Uh, and then at times they, they've not played as well. But uh, any time you've got athletes because they've got on both sides of the ball, on a given night you, you can play with anybody. Well, really, you know, my concern as a Giles County coach, you know, with Marshall County coming in, they potentially have to win this game to even get into the playoffs. And, you know, it's always dangerous when you have a team yeah. backed up against the wall there. Yeah, the only way they can guarantee to get in is, is with the win Friday night. Uh, you know, looking at everything, uh, there's still a real good chance they're going to get in either way. But uh, the only way they can fill it up is to win. And, it, it, again, a big rivalry game, uh, you know, with two communities close together here and uh, with there a lot of them lined for both teams. Uh, we, can, we can clinch uh, second place and home field advantage in the first round, and, uh, you know, they can, they can clinch up a playoff spot too. So uh, a lot riding on it, right? Yes, sir. And Coach, you've got uh, Trevor Holder. You know, he, he's a real vital part of your offense. He can attack you both on the ground and through there. How important has his development been at quarterback, you know, this year as far as making your season as successful as it has? Uh, he's been uh, a, a big key to what we do on offense. Uh, you know, it's kind of when you run the spread option uh, on offense, it's hard to run hard to run it without a quarterback that can run and throw both. And uh, Trevor does has done a great job doing both. Uh, he's been banged up the last few weeks. Uh, didn't play at all against Spring Hill, and uh, probably shouldn't have played against Innsworth. Mm -hmm. uh, he's starting to get back healthy, but he's still not 100, percent and will probably be a game time decision. Another kid that kind of caught my eye when I was looking over your stats was Cameron Orday, Ordway, excuse me. Uh, I think he's a junior cornerback. He's shown with 47 tackles. An amazing stat to me is seven interceptions. He's caused a fumble. He's deflected 10 passes. He's been a pretty vital cog in that defense this year, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Uh, he's tied uh, the record. Uh, Don Terry's Gilbert set the uh, school record last year with seven interceptions, and Cameron's already uh uh, tied that record in nine games so far this year, and, and uh, it, it's been great competition between those two, you know, trying to push each other and break each other's records. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, Cameron was fortunate enough to receive his first uh, official offer this week from Vanderbilt. Uh, great, great. Coach Franklin offered him uh, uh, on Sunday evening, and uh, uh, he, he's been great. Uh, you know, again, it, it really helps when you can put another guy down the box and have DBs that can lock people up like we've got. 
Well, that's just, uh, you know, that that's making a statement for us what you guys have been able to do the last, you know, two or three years. When Anytime you got kids getting Division One offers, that's great for your whole program. It is. You know, again, you know, when you got players like Bo Wallace playing in the SEC, it, it, it brings some uh, positive, uh, you know, some positive publicity to the, to the uh, community and to the kids at school, and it shows, some kids, you know, in a small town like Dallas, kind of like Pulaski, that uh, it, there is a chance to get out there. There is a chance to be on the big stage. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it really, I feel like it gives us something to offer to those young kids, uh, you know, to show them that you can make it big time coming to Dallas County. Yes, sir. Uh, Coach, I know you guys don't have to worry about CPA anymore this season. Uh, how well do you expect, you know, your biggest competition there in District 12 entering the playoffs as a one seed? How, how well do you expect those guys to do this year? Uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, at the time we played them, they were as good as anybody I've ever been on the field with uh, as, a co- as an assistant coach, head coach, or player. Uh, they, they, were, they were the best team I've been on the field with until week seven when we played in for it. So uh, I feel like we've probably played the two best teams I've ever been on the field with this year. Uh, they're just solid all the way around. Got the good skill people. They're always in the right spot, real well coached. Uh-huh. I, I look for them to make a deep run for sure. Good deal. Uh, Coach, obviously Saturday, all of us know, you know, exactly where we're going to be at and uh, opponents and, and what round, you know, you, you'll be matched up there in the first round. Have you guys studied that bracket in and, and got any idea who you'll be playing yet? Uh, well, you know, you try to look at it and you always want to, you know, speculate on who's going to be who. Um, right now it's had us going east into quad two all year long. Uh, mm-hmm. There's a chance that there's some teams in Upper East Tennessee that could get in and some teams over here in middle and west Tennessee that could get knocked out, which could push us west. So uh, the way I've got to figure we could go anywhere from hosting a team out of Jackson uh, to uh, hosting a team out of Knoxville. I mean, uh, it, it runs the gamut. We're kind of right there stuck in the middle. Us and Marshall County are teams that could go either way. And uh, in the past, we went both ways. We went east last year. We went west in 09. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just one of those things that depends on who's got the pin last i guess well being one of these sports geeks i kind of like to study this stuff too i actually have you guys as a three seed in quad two hosting east ridge in the first round so I yeah think- it's, uh, that's what a lot of people have got us at unicoi county uh, up in upper east tennessee is a, a team that uh uh got a chance they're not in right now but uh if, if they win friday they've got a chance and that could knock like i said he's russell marshall one going uh, west so uh which team think, which team was that uh unicoi county yeah, yeah. I, actually, I think they they play Sullivan Central, and and I believe they they will win that game. To be honest, uh, yes, one of them we've been looking at also. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. You know, it's all right. It brings you know it brings good excitement. You know, a lot of people don't like it, and I don't know. It, it, the uncertainty is definitely not uh, ever make you comfortable, but uh, you know it brings a lot of excitement, a lot of uh, a lot of talk around uh, you know the playoff picture every year. It's just. There's, there's a couple of things I still think need to be tweaked, but it's a, it's a work in progress, I guess. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of the old system where you put the top four in the region in, and then you really knew, you know, you had a good idea at least by, you know, week eight or nine exactly what you're going to have to do in the playoffs. The way the format is now, it's just, you know, you don't really know until Saturday morning. It's depending on where the TWSWA wants to put you at, really. Yeah, I that, and, and, you know, uh, you, you don't get rewarded for playing a tough schedule. Exactly. As a matter of fact, you, you actually get punished for playing a tough schedule, like, uh, you know, overall wins, obviously, being one of the tiebreakers. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I was going down the other day, uh, one of the third or fourth tiebreaker is uh, wins against a team in your class. Right. And uh, like like with us, we only played four teams in our class. Everybody else was above us uh-huh. uh, in our class. So uh, that that's a tiebreaker that we don't do very well in, even though – we actually played above our class in the non-conference game. So, I don't know. You know there's some things can be tweaked on it, I think, for sure. But uh, all in all, everybody's got to play everybody, and you got to beat everybody to get to the get to Cookville. So, uh, you know, it is what it is, I right, guess. Right, yeah. If it works out the way I think it's going to work out, the good thing is I believe you guys will likely avoid uh, Fulton, Greenville, and Pearl Cone until at least the semifinals. And, you know, that seems to be the three – teams in in your class that you know are getting the most hype anyway so you know anytime you can avoid those powerhouses in the early rounds that's a good thing yeah i think so i think trezman out west too is a really good team i think they got the best defense in the in the state statistical wise so uh you know again it's it's when you get the third round of the playoffs second third round of the playoffs they're all good good. everybody's good you know that's right 
for sure. Well, Coach, I, I don't want to hold you up anymore, buddy. I appreciate you taking a little time with us today. Uh, we wish you guys all the all the luck in the world in the playoffs, and hopefully we can catch up to you again before the season's out. Well, I appreciate you having me. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thanks a lot.